In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Well, good evening. How are you doing? This Wednesday in Holy Week, okay? And you're all back there. I've got, I've got visual aids, which you're not going to be able to see. So today, isn't it pretty? <laughs> so, so this is an icon that I was given today as a gift, and I just love it. It's the icon of the betrayal of Jesus. So this is the icon that betrays what we just heard in the gospel. And I just think it's the, I think it's a hot ticket, so I'm coming back here so I can make sure you all see it, okay? Isn't that cool? So whenever I hear this gospel, whenever I read this gospel, I think about what it must have been like for Jesus to be betrayed. Now, have any of you, oh, I haven't gotten up here. Wait a minute, see? Isn't that glorious? Yeah. Have any of you been betrayed? Who's been betrayed? Raise your hand. We all have. It's a horrible part of our nature. It's a horrible part of our nature. But Jesus' betrayal was the ultimate betrayal, right? Did he have to go through it? He knew. It wasn't like he didn't know, right? Did he have to go through it? Yeah, he did. Because it was that betrayal that set up what was going to happen to save us all. And for me, looking at that piece, that out of a betrayal, which caused a death, it caused a rising to new life. There was something magical about that one betrayal that is not like the betrayals that we experience. But how can we redeem the betrayals that happened to us? Are they redeemable? I think they are. Because just as Jesus never lost love for any of his disciples or anyone, we're called in the midst of those that hurt us to offer that same kind of love back. That's the hard human nature rub for us because it's not easy. It's not easy to love someone who's hurt us deeply. But if we don't forgive and if we don't love, if we don't try to love them and show them the love of God in Christ, all it does is diminish our own lives. Not theirs, they're fine but it diminishes us. That's why forgiveness is such an important part of our Christian message. Because in forgiving, we become healed from whatever hurt has been brought onto us. And we can go on with our lives, not dwelling in the pain, but moving beyond it. It doesn't mean that we let ourselves be hurt again it doesn't mean that. If, if somebody's in an abusive situation, it doesn't mean going back into that situation. But what it does mean is loving yourself enough, loving that person enough to extricate yourself from that. Does that make sense? So Jesus, in this ultimate betrayal, which is so beautifully displayed in this icon, shows us that sometimes in those moments, in these moments, a new birth can come out of something that is horrible. And that's why we're here. And that's why we celebrate the way we do. So I invite you to spend the rest of your Holy Week walking through the rest of these stories of our Lord. Monday, Thursday, the institution of, the, the, of, of Holy Communion for us and the washing of feet. Good Friday, death on the cross. Holy Saturday, the magic of the rolling away of the stone in front of the tomb. Come and be part of all of this because it's our Christian heritage and it's a story of how our lives can be transformed by the love and grace of our Lord and what he did for us. Amen. <laughs>